CTE Pro 1 Truth Series, video 27, the CTE Gaze. What is it that we look at when we're down on a shot and we're getting ready to shoot? In CTE, what you really look at, what you truly look at for the target is the center of the cue ball. There is nothing to look at on the object ball. Now, I want to clarify that just a little bit further by saying there's nothing to focus to on the object ball. You can look at the object ball, but there's nothing to focus on. Our cue ball placement for today is at one, the one diamond, two diamonds intersection, and the object ball is one diamond up and a third of a diamond over. Now, I'm assuming that many of you have worked with the Truth Series already and many of you have worked with my uh, book lessons already. I'm going to use basic CTE and disguised pivoting for conveying to you what this CTE gaze is all about. Now, for basic CTE, for this right cut, 15 degree perception, uh, it takes an outside pivot to solve this shot to center pocket. Now, when I fall down on this shot in basic CTE, my left eye, my outside eye, is going to be dominant for seeing the perfect sight line, which defines the perfect perception. My left eye is dominant for looking at the outside edge of the cue ball for stepping the uh, uh, cue ball to its missile center. Now, when I pivot, my left eye is still dominant. So when I, when I drop down, see the perfect perception, and step, and then pivot, my left eye is still a dominant force, particularly at this point for seeing along the missile. But there's a fact concerning the missile that you should be aware of, and perhaps you already are. The look that you see when you're looking along the missile with your dominant outside eye is a thick look. There's a distortion of sorts that creates a thick look in relation to the pocket, as if you were going to miss it. So, you just have to trust send a cue ball and shoot because you're dealing with a thick look. Now, I said this in my book probably, I don't know how many times, 50 times, 100 times. It's your mid-face vision center. Your two vision lines, one for your left eye, one for your right eye, that triangulates for seeing the target. Your tip aligned to the missile center. That's your target. Now, my left eye is dominant for the sight line, for stepping, for seeing along the missile. Now, at this point, I'm going to shift my focus to the target, which is center cue ball. When I shift my focus to the target, I'm going to turn off my left eye as being dominant so that it can work with my right eye in a triangulated fashion for seeing my tip at the target. Now, that's going to require some focus. So when I get to the sight line, step, center, there's the missile. Now, I just turned off my left eye so it can work with my right eye. My focus is on my tip at center. Now here's what's key for you to understand. I have no focus on the object ball. I can look up at the object ball, but I'm not focused on anything. I'm not focused on a contact point, a ghost ball, or a, or a fractional aspect of the, of the object ball, or a sight line, or parallax, or anything like that. My focus has been reduced to the target only, which is the missile center.
So, left eye is dominant for the perfect perception. Step the cue ball, pivot to center. I see along the thick nissle. And now, I'm going to switch over to my mid-face vision center. My focus is solely on my tip at center. So if I look up at the object ball, I am not focusing on anything on the object ball. It's only a gaze. So why do we do that? By engaging your mid-face vision center for seeing the target in the manner that I described, you automatically filter out the thick looking distortion that you get from looking along the missile. That's what the CTE gaze is all about. So, perfect sight line, step the cue ball, pivot to center, there's the missile, switch over to my mid-face vision center. Now, that's where all my focus is. So, not only does my mid-face vision center focus at the target in such a way that when I look up at the object ball, it not only filters out the distortion, it reveals to me the perfect shot picture, which is something that's important to me. I'd rather see a shot perfectly minus the distortion given a choice. So what I'm teaching you here is how to use your left eye for the jobs that it does as a dominant line, a dominant vision line, and then how to switch over, how to be aware, tuned in to the fact that now you're Two vision lines are dominant for the task of seeing the tip at center. Now for disguise pivoting. I love basic CTE. I cycle a lot with basic CTE between that and disguise pivoting. Disguise pivoting is a result of having done a lot of basic CTE to where you just fall right into the missile. You fall right into the missile center. I mean it's, I don't, I don't like using the word feel because it gives connotations that I'm not always, uh, you know, pleased with, but it's like feel on steroids. So, I, I have two ways to fall in on this shot using disguise pivoting. And I want you to make sure that you at some point, sooner or later, experience exactly what I'm getting ready to show you. For this 15 degree perception, I'm going to drop right into the, I'm going to drop right into the missile with my left eye as being dominant. Which is okay, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that I do get a little bit of a distortion. A distortion in the form of seeing a thick relation to the pocket. Or, I can fall into the shot like this. I can fall right into the shot with both eyes, left eye and right eye, triangulating to see my tip at center. And all that's left for looking at the object ball is a gaze. A gaze that is minus any type of focus to be on anything. There's no focus on a sight line, a contact point, a ghost ball, a parallax line. It's just a gaze that gives me a perfect shot picture minus the distortion. So, I can follow on this shot with my left eye being dominant for seeing the missile. Or, I can fall on this shot with my mid-face vision center being dominant for seeing my tip at the target, which is center cue ball. That's the CTE gaze. Hopefully this 
information can further uh, help you to uh, uh, understand Center to Edge Aiming and what it is that you look at when you're down on a shot. Uh, thank you very much for your attention on this video.